Hey guys, Will here with Cray Studio. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can work with AI Shorts inside of Cray Studio 4. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and see what we're working with. All right, so I'm here on the homepage in Cray Studio 4, and you'll see up at the top, we've got several different options for starting off a new project, right? But we're gonna go ahead and click on AI Shorts. So I'm gonna open up AI Shorts, and you're gonna be prompted with the options to choose landscape, vertical, square, portrait, and then of course, you can choose your language from here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep it landscape and say ready and let's create this project. All right, so for step one, we need to create a video script and we also need to choose a video theme. So you can choose from comedy, motivational, is this anime, bedtime stories, um, quiz. So depending on what theme you want for your video, choose it here. And then here is where we're gonna add our prompt. So I'm gonna do a comedy and then you can type in whatever specific prompt and details you would like to be in your video. So for here, I've got this story already laid out. So I've got a scientist accidentally spills coffee on their time machine's control panel, setting their cup of coffee back in time. Now they must track it down before history is rewritten, right? So kind of a funny little spoof here. So we'll get next once we've got our prompt in there. And here's where you can choose your voiceover, right? So you can choose between males. You got female options here. And then you can preview these guys by selecting on the preview button. I'm not interested in eight. And then same thing with the females. You can come over here. Choose if a one is one. lucky, a solitary fantasy. All right, so you do have the options to create favorites. So maybe for example, you like this one and you like this one. And then maybe on the male side over here, you've liked this guy and you like this guy. So you can go to favorites and then here are our favorites and you can sort between male and female from here, right? Which is pretty cool. So we're gonna choose a female voice and let's just select the biggest room in the world. Let's choose this one right here and then we'll say select, All right? Select it. So now I can go to next. And here's where you can choose a backing track. So do you want to add music to this? Um, if you don't want to add music, you can click no music here, or you can choose like something cinematic, um, minimal. I'm going to go with, um, let's go with minimal for this one, just to kind of have a little thematic music in the background. And I'll hit next. And here's where you can choose your video style. So we have different options from cinematic to 50s to neo-punk, right? Disney, Pixar, hyper-realism, 1800s. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose, uh, let's go with Disney Pixar for this one. And then let's go ahead and hit next. And here's where you can put your captions. So as it's reading off, what do you want those captions to look like? And I'm gonna go with this, um, I like the clean and simple for this, but just to show you how things work, let's go with the, um, with the giraffe style here. And then here's where you can choose your 3D avatar that's gonna be talking on screen and kind of relaying the story in real time, right? It's narrating, right? So you can choose all the different types of 3D avatars that we have, which is really cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let's choose, uh, since I chose a female character, let's choose this one right here. And then I'll hit next. And so now it's going to finalize and create that, uh, create that story based off the script I prompted it with, as long as the voiceover, um, the backing tracks, the video style, and the captions. So here is my script, right? So everything's laid out. And again, you have the ability to come in here and edit this script. Uh, maybe you don't like a certain line or maybe you don't like the character name. You can change it from here, um, delete scenes, delete different lines and text. And once you're ready, we can then go ahead and create uh, or click on, I should say, generate project. So I'm going to go ahead and click that now. All right. And so now this is generating. And once it's done, we'll take a look at what we created. All right. So now you can see it has generated our AI short. And so let's go ahead and play this back and see what this came up with. Meet Dr. Brewster, the world's clumsiest scientist who just invented a time machine powered by coffee. One fateful morning while sipping his favorite brew, disaster struck. Dr. Brewster accidentally spills coffee all over the time machine's control panel. In a flash, his cup of coffee is sent spiraling back in time to the age of dinosaurs. All right, so you can kind of see it's a really powerful tool that can create some really awesome content um, based off of the scripts that you provide. All right, so let's take a look at some of the things you can do once we're inside of our creative timeline here. All right, so the cool thing is, is that we've created a really awesome AI short from scratch, right? And it created this uh, timeline here for us. And now we can really customize this and adjust it and make it our own. So if I come in here at the top here, you have this shining dust. So you see these kind of particles that are happening up here in the background here. I can click on this guy and in the top left corner, you'll see here's the color. And if I didn't like that, I can make these guys red and you can see they're already red or I can come down here to the color hue, make them blue, right? So there's different ways that you can then manipulate these guys and change the colors for those specific particles, right? So maybe you want it to match your branding. That's another good way to kind of change the color up there. All right, so that's the particles. And we do have the emoji, right? So if I click on the emoji female character, 
you'll see that it opens up under settings, the ability to customize her even more. So maybe you don't want her wearing a black hat. You can open up the hats here and we could adjust this. And let's say we want her to wear this type of hat, right? We could do that. Um, or maybe we wanted to wear a cowboy hat, right? So there's all kinds of things you can change within here. We could change her hair up. Um, we can uh, change her glasses. Maybe we want to give her some of these cool shades. Um, maybe these type of glasses doesn't really make sense for the story. Maybe some regular glasses like that. Um, and then you can adjust eyelashes, right? So there's different things. You can give her earrings, um, piercings. Um, if she had a logo thing, we could do logos. The colors is where you can change skin tones. Um, and then we also have the ability to adjust some of the, the light, um, how much she pops off the screen there or the ambient intensity as well. So there's different options. Of course, we have actions for animations as well. We could adjust and add new actions for her animations if we want to really increase that as well. Um, and then styles, we can come in here and adjust her style from here too. Maybe you want a different preset style than that. So we, here's the one we were using. Um, maybe we want to give her one of these, right? Or maybe we want it to go for this look here. So it just depends on what you're trying to do for your projects, but you do have the ability to change all that under styles, right? And then you can save these as well. So if you have save, um, I don't have any presets now, but for example, maybe I wanted to save this preset to use in future videos because this is the, the talking head that I want to use across the board. What I could do, is I could right click on her and then save as a preset. And now she is saved under presets. So when I open up other projects, I can go to my save presets here and drag her in and she'll work for all the different projects that I may have, right? So again, really awesome ways to be able to customize your emojis within your creative timeline here. And then we have all of the assets that make up the story, right? All the pictures that it brought in. And maybe for example, you don't like some of these. Maybe I don't like this scientist and I wanna put in something else. So what I can do is I can click on this guy and up in the top left under settings, You'll say I can replace with video or I can replace with an image. Um, so say, for example, I want to replace with an image. I can just click this guy and it's going to go to my media library. And I've got this other scientist image here. So I can quickly click that. And now it's going to put that image in as well. Right. And again, if you didn't have an image or you're still trying to search stuff up, you could go to our media libraries here for pixels um, and look under images or for um, Pixabay. And I looked up cartoon scientists. Right. So that's what's kind of popping up for me there. Or if you wanted to swap it out for a video. You could do that as well, right? So again, just different ways that you can access different media and bring them into your timeline, which is really cool. All right, so let's say that I want to adjust the speech, right? So I've got my pre-made dialogue based off of the, the script that I provided, and it's reading off the lines with my chosen female character voice, right? Well, I can click on speech one here, or speech zero, I should say, and then here's where I can edit my caption. So maybe I didn't like the captions that I chose, I could choose a different style based off of that, right? So I could change it to, to this guy right here. Um, I could also change the style. So I could change the font, the colors. Maybe this color scheme doesn't match my branding, so I could change that up as well. And then, of course, here is where you can edit your captions itself, right? So maybe you wanted to correct something um, or it didn't bring in the, the right wording. You could rephrase that here or it misspelled something. You could correct that here. So again, really cool and powerful ways to adjust your captions from here. And then we do have the music. So the music that it chose, maybe you don't like it or maybe you don't want music. So if I didn't like it, all I need to do is select it and then hit delete right on the keyboard and it would take it away. And if I bring it back, you can say, you know what, I, I maybe I want partial that track to play partial of the time. And then I want to bring in a new track. So what you could do is you come over here to our music, come over here and choose which style, preview all these different tracks that you have, download it, right? If I like this track, I could download it. And then I could then bring it into my timeline here and then line it up accordingly. And then of course, if volume was an issue, you could adjust the volume with that mu music track selected and then bring down your volume a little bit. Or if you want fade ins, or if you want fade outs, you can do that for well uh, as well. All right, so that is how you can manipulate your AI short inside your timeline here, adjust the different parameters for all the things that it brought. Again, it's a very powerful feature that is available inside of Creative Studio 4. So again, hopefully you got some quick, good quick tips out of this. Can't wait to see what y'all create. I'll catch y'all in the next tutorial. Thank you.